Well, hey there, sparkling stars. It is day six of Soar to Senior, and we are through the week almost. So today we are going to be talking about hobbies. Let's think about hobbies for a minute. What are some hobbies that you guys do? Hobbies could be scrapbooking, hobbies could be quilting, hobbies could be, um, you know, the model airplanes and the cars, hobbies could be quilting, knitting. There's a lot of different hobbies that are out there. So we want to talk about today whether your business is a hobby or is it truly a business. So of course I've got my notes here again, so I'm going to be looking down. But what do hobbies mean? Hmm? So hobbies, they don't pay you for what you're doing. Um, so they don't, you don't get paid to do it, right? That's a hobby. Um, so you may scrapbook for fun. You may golf for fun. Usually a hobby requires you to spend money. So a hobby could be something like golfing where then you spend money to golf, but then you have to buy all the accessory things to golf with. Um, it could be scrapbooking, but you need all the scrapbooking material and scrapbooking supplies and you're spending money, but are you really making any money? Probably not. There's dance, there's piano, there's knitting, there's sewing. Um, it's stuff that takes a lot of time, but doesn't actually make you income. Okay. Um, it is a lot of overhead, but you don't have profit, right? So the question is, what is your 31 business? Is it a hobby or is it a business? I want you to think about that. A business is where you've set goals and you are making a profit. You're making more than you spend. Is that what's happening with your 31 business? Or are you spending more than you make? It's a, it's a true question that we all have to ask. Are you running your 31 business like a hobby? Because if you are, it's gonna pay you like a hobby. If you're running your 31 business like a business, it's gonna pay you like a business. So we have to start doing the work that pays you guys for what you do, right? So we want to work and, and accomplish those goals to crush, right? I'm gonna drink a cup of my coffee for a minute. I want you to sit and think about that for a minute. What are your goals? What are your why, right? Okay, so let's go back to our why. We talked about it earlier this week. I want you to think about your why that you came up with. Does it actually answer the question, why? Why? Why did you join 31? What is your why that you're wanting to crush, your goal that you're wanting to crush? The what and the why, right? Why do you need out of the house? Is that one of your whys? Why are you passionate about the product? Why do you need more money? Why? I want you to take it a step further. So we talked about our why earlier this week, but I really want you to do, guys to go back to your why today. And I want you to think about why you wrote your why. So is your why to make more money? Well, why do you need to make more money? Is your why to take your family to Disney? Why do you want to take them to Disney? Is your why to quit your corporate job? Why do you want to take your quit your corporate job? But we have to dig deeper and deeper because we want to make sure that we are doing this as a business and not a hobby, right? You have to dig deep into the why. So I wanted you to make sure the why you wrote down actually answers the question why. So you got to look at it. Okay, here's my why. Here's what I wrote down. Now is it answering why? Are you taking it a step further? So this why of yours is, has to be so strong. And I know it may seem silly that we're revisiting it again, but you ha it has to drive you guys. It has to burn within you. It has to get you up in the morning and go, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make four contacts today because I have a why that I wanna give my family or I wanna give myself. I wanna give my kids, I wanna give my spouse, I wanna give to my friends. Um, I have that why. And so, you, do you, the question is, do you want your business to be bigger? Because if you do and you want to crush those goals, we have to make sure we know what that why is and we know that the why is answering why, right? So, is this a business, wait, is it a biz, business kind of why or is it a hobby kind of why? That's another question we have to ask ourselves. Hmm. Is it a business kind of why? Do you just like the products and you like the discount and you don't really care if you make a lot of money? That may be more of a hobby than a business. Um, is it because you need extra income for dance class or maybe you need extra income for a, a car payment or a honeymoon? What is your why, right? We have to make sure and revisit it. So your homework is, we have to put a price on our why. What? I know, right? So I want you to think about your why. 
your why probably has some type of money tied with it and that is perfectly fine but I want you to dig deep and I want to make sure number one that your why answers why and then if your why is to make extra income I want to you need to know how much you need to write it down in your journal write it down how much money do you need a month okay so how much money do you need to make your why happen how much exactly how much do you need to make your why happen okay then I want you to write down how much 31 do you need to sell to make it happen so you got to think about that right so if you're if you're needing to make an extra thousand dollars a month then how much do you need to sell with 31 so is that per 31 large utility tote or is that per party you guys should be able to think about kind of what your average party is and what you're making is 25% commission so how much money how much do you need to sell with 31 each month I also want you to think about your list of 100 right your catalog are you getting those catalogs in people's hands so you guys have the weekend you're still working on some of the tasks from the week and that's totally fine some of you have weddings some of you have funerals going on this week so there is grace to be given but I want you guys to really be revisiting everything this weekend your why has to answer why you need a price on your why so you need to know exactly a dollar figure what you need to make per month it is super important, especially as moving into Leadership with 31. What is your dollar figure that you need to make per month? And then how many parties or how many items do you need to sell per month in order to get that, okay? Don't let those numbers scare you. You just need to know what that is so we can identify it and move forward with the task. Um, if you own the work you do, it will generate income, guys. I promise you that. So don't forget that. So um, we... Hopefully you guys have been sending out catalogs this week. If you have, it's about time to follow up, okay? So by this next week, it's gonna be time to follow up with them and see if they're wanting to place an order or they're interested in booking a party. So I promise you guys, if you stick with this this day, this daily task and you stick with this um, tr training system for the next five weeks, you are going to see huge results in your business. But you've gotta put in the work, you've gotta know your why, and you've got to know your why for your why. You've got to know how much money you need to make. These are things that I do for my business as well. I need to know what I need to make per month and how much I need to sell per month as far as parties or as far as per product, okay? So I want you guys to really dig deep, think about that today, write it down in your journal, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.